Man, why is the beauty community starting drama on World Mental Health Day? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about trying to help you with your mental health. So what I like to do is pull things going on in the community or pop culture and try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And you're sitting here and you're like, Chris, why are you talking about stuff in the beauty community and why do you know so much about it? Well, I actually got plunged into the beauty community by my lovely girlfriend and her best friend Shelby and I know a lot of stuff about the beauty community now so yeah that's what's going on um but anyways this is an important topic because um while I was out of town um October 10th was World Mental Health Day and and yeah like I got uh, a tweet from one of my loyal subscribers about some stuff going on and I was out of town I'm like well what's going on and yeah Manny MUA released his first video and I'm gonna talk about it. And I'm also gonna talk about Jeffree Star and some other situations going on with the beauty community and World Mental Health Day. So anyways, let me tell you about the tweet that I got from at T Serial. Manny MUA is uploading a documentary series on mental health, but it is, it is about his mental health. His video editor in the section makes it clear this, uh, this was purposely posted on Mental Health Day. I feel as someone with PTSD from a sexual assault that is transparently uncaring. So, T Serial, thank you for shooting me this tweet and letting me know what's going on. So yeah, I wanna I wanna talk about this. So I don't know, like first first I'll say this. Like I actually recorded this entire video already and I uploaded it to Zach and the audio didn't work. So I actually had this done on World Mental Health Day, but yeah, I'm just going back and trying to get that emotional fuel that I had. Um, but yeah, like first and foremost, I'll, I'll say this, like I am going to have some videos in the future about like is mental health like becoming like a trendy thing or people like faking it to try to get sympathy or empathy um, or, or are people using it as a way to push better health because there's all that stuff going on kind of still. So I am gonna make some videos about that. Like, I don't wanna say exactly what Manny's mental health state is like, but I will talk about this. So this video is actually going in a playlist that I have called How to Apologize, all right? I've made a playlist about how to apologize because people have no idea how to apologize. And like, I swear to you, I swear to you, once I started watching this Manny MUA, like this first episode of his, his little like mini documentary about where he's been, like I just wanted to turn it off. I was like five or six minutes in and I just wanted to turn this video off. This was just the worst. And if Manny has like some kind of PR team or PR agent, like he needs to fire them like yesterday. Like, oh my God. Okay, so let me tell you this, like the first, problem with this was he started out this video by talking about himself, what he's been going through, his mental health, his, um, you know, his self-medicating, you know, going to the hospital, everything like that. I went to the emergency room on, I think the 15th, because I had a full-blown um, mental breakdown and anxiety attack, sadly. I remember when you texted me. When you're in the hospital, like throwing up and like crying and, you know, your body's shaking, like as if you're seizing you like get into this like zone where you're like, I can't ever go through this again. Like, I don't want to minimize that. Like as somebody who, you know, has had mental health issues, I've worked, you know, in the treatment uh, industry for, you know, a few years. Like, I'm not trying to minimize that, but like the best way I can like kind of put this into, you know, a way that more people understand. Like I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I've been clean for six years. Now, part of this process, you know, of me getting clean, staying sober is like, making amends to people and like apologizing and you know being truly sorry for what I've done. But like, can you imagine, right? Like I, I used to lie, cheat and steal from my family and friends, right? Could you imagine these people who I have hurt, the people in my life who I have hurt, and if the first words came out of my mouth was like, 
well, you know, um, I have an alcoholic mom and I had a rough childhood and I, I had a lot of anxiety and depression and that's when I started to self-medicate and that's what caused my addiction. And then I go on into the apology. Like, that is awful. Like, no, like, Manny should have come right out of the gate and just addressed like the biggest concerns people have, right? About what's going on with him and Jeffrey, him being a social climber, all those things. And then he should have started talking about his mental health, okay? So like the way that he did that was just absolutely awful. Like I need to go check out John Cuckian and see if like Manny's losing subscribers or maybe I'll go check on Social Blade. But like, I don't know. Like I wanna hear from all of you, like were you as, I don't know, upset about the way he did this as I was. Like, when I watch this, ugh, and I'm gonna talk about Jeffree Star in a minute too, because I'm not too happy with him either. So, in the last video I made about Manny MUA and him doing like a trailer for this little documentary series he's doing about his mental health, like, I talked about mental health breaks and how if you're gonna take a mental health break, you have to do something, you have to take action, right? But, like, it doesn't seem like Manny changed. Like. The only thing that we saw he did was A, spend time with family, and B, read self-help books. Like, what? What, like, you guys, this is why therapy is so important because you need an outside point of view, especially because what I'm about to talk about is how Manny has a very, very enabling family, all right? Like, if you want to know what a family of enablers looks like, Look at Manny's parents, okay? Now, before I talk about the parents, I wanna say this, like, Manny also screwed up by having his own editor do this. Like, you can tell by the way that the editor asked questions of Manny as well as his parents that they are clearly biased towards Manny, right? Like, they're in favor of Manny. Like, oh yeah, well, well, it must have been really hard for you, right? But then why do you think people are painting it that like you're the one always benefiting? That you're the one who's like lot, like going from friend to friend and collab to collab when in reality everyone has grown together at the same time. I never really understood that. So like, I don't know, half of it was the editor's fault for the way he was asking these questions. Like, that was awful. But throughout this entire thing, you see how his family was enabling him. You see what his dad's saying. You see what his mom is saying. Like, they're protecting him. Easier to jump on the bandwagon yeah. and to go with it ins instead of sticking up and saying, that's not true. We're talking about what's the right, what is the truth. It's easier to just jump on the bandwagon and, and, and agree with other people than to actually stand up for something that's not the norm. Now, hey, don't get me wrong, like it's important for parents to, you know, protect their kids, but like they had very few critiques of Manny. Like it's almost in the same way that Manny's saying it, right? Like, hey, I might have screwed up a little, but you screwed up more. You know what I mean? And that's even how his mom and dad said it. Like, I, I forgot who I was watching. It might have been Peter Mon. And they and the mom, um, Peter Mon said, he talked about how the mom like said that, you know, Manny you know, kind of screwed up the relationship with Jeffrey, you know, that might have been the case, but like, the way I, the way that I like listened to that sentence and like the way she was talking about it, it seemed like, oh, you know, man, he just goofed a little, you know, but it wasn't really his fault. Man, he's just like that, you know? And like, that's just the way his family is and they're not making him stay accountable for what's going on. Like, and again, that's why you need to get outside points of view. Like, you can't do that. Now, whether or not, you know, his family is just being on his side because he's like supporting them, um, not even really supporting them, but he, you know, has them running his company and all of that, like, I don't know. But going back to Manny's mental health issues and his self-medicating, like, I've talked about this already, like, this is some real stuff. And whether or not, you know, this was a PR thing just for World Mental Health Day, I, I, I don't know, but like, I, I, I've said this a million times. Like I said this like in a Bobby Burns video, I think, and I think I said this in a Trisha Paytas video. Like there is no reason why these millionaires should not be like seeing a therapist once a week. Like I just, I, I don't like, I get it, like I get it, because some of you have asked me to make videos about, you know, being afraid to go to therapy or how to find the right therapist. So I kind of get it, but when you're in this spotlight, like, and especially with all the pressure that they have and all of that, like, you gotta take care of your mental health and it is not going to come through self-help books, all right? So that's kind of my take on this. And again, like, the reason I make these videos is 
to help you kind of see like, can you relate to this? Like, do you have an enabling family? Is your family like co-signing your BS and not holding you accountable? Like, are you, are you taking action during a mental health break? Do you know how to apologize? Because like, if you look at what Manny's doing, he does not know how to apologize. But that's what I have to say about Manny so far, and I don't, man, I don't even know if I wanna watch the rest of his videos because this one was just so poorly done. But now I'm gonna talk about Jeffrey. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Be better, okay? Be better, like, I don't know. Like, you know, I try to pull things from the, um, you know, the YouTube community and try to teach you guys about the mental health, but like, the more I'm seeing like with the with the beauty community, especially just between World Mental Health Day and today, the stuff that's going on, like it just bums me out. Like, I hate to say it, but a lot of them are acting like children, okay? And I don't know, if you guys want me to make other videos like on some of these topics, let me know in the comments. But like Manny and Jeffrey, bunch of children, all right? Gabriel, child. The thing going on with Tati Westbrook and, uh, that other that other person who uh, made the video about her that's childish um i forgot who else oh 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 james charles and his whole netflix like oh the beauty community just needs to grow up but anyways getting back to this if you're wondering like why i'm talking about jeffrey star so um part of manny's video was that he like apologized to karina kaboom and jeffrey commented on it and he says he uploaded on World Mental Health Day because his manager told him to. His first two apology videos flopped, so they're trying to trying to shame Dawson Wow. It's effing pathetic and so calculated it makes me sick. You want the truth? Um, absorb it? I think that's what it says. My thing got cut off. Then it says, can the real sociopath in the beauty community please stand up? Like, Jeffrey, like, did you need to say that? Did you need to put those jobs in? Did you need to do that? Like. I don't know, it's it's just there's so much passive aggressive and just pettiness, like Jeffrey was at the top of his game when all this stuff was going down and Jeffrey was just staying quiet. Like that's when Jeffrey was just being the adult in the situation, but like this right now, like, hey, and I get it too, I try to teach you guys from my own experience, but like I used to have this insane need, right, to just, say whatever was on my mind. I had to let you know how I felt all the time. And some people think this is like a good quality, right? Like, I don't know, it's really interesting to me how like some people like in our society think like, oh, I like that person because they speak their mind. Like, that's not always a good thing because if you're speaking your mind and people think that you're a jerk, that's not great. So what I had to do before I opened my mouth, people taught me to ask myself three questions. Does it need to be said? Does it need to be said right now? And does it need to be said by me? Feel free to write that down. Like, if I pause before opening my mouth to attack, right, or to just put out this information or this unsolicited advice, right, does it need to be said? Does it need to be said right now? And does it need to be said by me? Like, those things, like, if you, if you ask yourself that and you check in with your ego and you calm it down, most of the time the answer is no. Right? Like most of the time, you don't need to do that. Okay? Like if Jeffrey would have stayed quiet, like the community would have just done their thing. You know? And and that's something that I've learned throughout the years. Like it's something that I try to do. I comment and reply and stuff like that. But like there's many times when I just don't and I watch you, my loyal subscribers, you reply for me because I have a loyal following and a lot of you know my true intentions and my morals and my values and things like that. But anyways, that's what I have to say about this situation and I hope you learned some things from it. Like, quit being petty, quit being passive aggressive, like grow up, be the adult, keep your mouth shut if you have to, like so many things, but like, I don't know, I make these videos to try to teach you and I, I just really want you guys to actively watch how these relationships unfold and all this cattiness and stuff going on. And you can say, wow, do I act like that? I might need to fix some stuff, all right? But I would love to know your thoughts and comments down below. And like I said, if you want me to make videos on some of the other beauty guru issues going on, give you a break from the Shane Dawson stuff, let me know because I am all around the interwebs. And if there's something that I can do to help you and that you can relate to it and get some context out of it, 
I'm all about that. All right, but that's all I got. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help me spread a message of hope and help people with mental health issues, make sure you click on or tap on that little Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.